Oh, hey guys. Welcome. So, um, back in my office, as you can see, I've decorated a little bit. <laughs> Are you trying to cover it with your hair? I'm all about accountability. So with my coaching, my online coaching, I'm there to help keep people accountable, but sometimes it's hard to keep myself accountable. So we're in this together. We are in this together, but I, it's always helpful. I think for me and for others to put it out there. So whenever you have goals, put them out there, whether it's to your friends and family or online, social media, it holds you more accountable because you know that other people know about it. So one of these goals, it's like a 75 day challenge. I'm sure you've probably heard of it. Maybe not, I don't know. But uh, ultimately what we're doing is like oh, kind of a, a thing that's mostly body, mind. I'm starting with just kind of getting healthier. Um, ever since my, my leg break, I felt a de decline. Obviously at the very beginning, there's a huge decline, right? It's just my whole leg, just all the muscle just escaped somewhere. I don't know where it went. It's just, it was just gone. But say I stopped walking, stopped doing my cardio. I like running. I like doing everything with legs. Now it's just, uh, I'm getting back into that. I'm starting to run again. I found out that I gained 20 pounds, but I, I'm not sure about that. Cause like, I think I lost muscle and then gained fat. I don't care if, you know, a girl never tells her weight, you know, but, uh, <laughs> So I was 165 for the longest time. And now I'm actually stuck at like, well, actually I'm not stuck at anything. It's I was at 180, 180 last week and then 185 <laughs> this week. I don't know. It's, it's all over the place. I can't control it. Basically thing. a 75 day challenge and it's to hold you accountable, not only to your physical and fitness goals, but kind of mental goals because it's, it's mm. definitely a mental challenge. It's called the 75 hard challenge. And basically what it is, I'll lift, list it out. It's, two workouts per day, uh, 45 minutes. One of those workouts has to be outside every day. One gallon of water per day. Follow your diet of choice for 75 days with no cheating. Read 10 pages of an entrepreneur or self-help or self-development book per day and take a progress picture every day. And that's the challenge. That's actually listed online is in parentheses, like it says no alcohol. I don't see that I'm on okay there. with that. Let's Whatever do it. it was. Let's do it. So yeah, let's do it. You always do it. So that's that's massive for me. Um, just because you know I enjoy it. Yeah, this is it's gonna be tough, but I think it's gonna be really good because a lot of the people that I've heard feedback from said that it helps them to build a good structure, and then it I mean it toughens you up mentally because you have to stick to a schedule. We've got to figure out when we're gonna get the reading done and get the workouts done. That part's Adjust that around. For me. It's the workout. Eva and right work so yeah we're doing this around yeah. a very tight schedule already and so if we can do it i promise you that mm -hmm. you can do it mm -hmm. morning um days like today that the challenge is gonna be a bit more difficult um me and eva are out walking right now it's cold it's wet it's not raining right now but we're trying to get out before the rain hits because it's supposed to be raining I think all afternoon, um, so I'm at least getting her a walk-in before this afternoon. Matt and I might have to do something outside in the rain, so that's going to be fun. But um, this is part of it. I know that in the podcast that Andy Frizzella did about the 75 Heart Challenge, he's talking about how working out outside, um, you know, for one of your workouts per day, walking for me, um, he said the weather's not going to be great. He's like, that's part of the challenge because you can't control the elements. You can't control everything. There are going to be some things that suck. There's going to be some days where the weather sucks and you have to be on rain. He said that's part of life and it teaches you mental toughness because you get it done regardless of your environment, regardless of your circumstances. So. What's up everybody? So we just got back from our walk and so it's really, really nice to get that taken care of first thing in the morning because I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day now. And the outside time has been one of the harder parts of the 75 hard challenge for us just because if we don't get it first thing in the day, get it done, the rest of the day can get away from us. And then it's like 9 p.m. and there have been nights where Matt and I... Anyway, we are on day... I'm pretty sure we're on day 65 of the challenge. That means there are 10 
days left of the 75 hard challenge and we are we are so close to the finish line and i'm so excited to get it done i really think that we're going to continue forward with most of these tasks after it's done because they have become habits for us like reading walking getting our workouts in of course i really can't picture going through our days now without our daily 45 minute walk um yeah I don't know it's just it's been such an awesome experience and i mean matt has made phenomenal progress i know that this isn't about a physical transformation but those like mental and physical transformations usually go hand in hand matt's lost like 20 pounds um i mean of course i'm like where did you have to lose it from but he i mean he wasn't working out before we started this he was eating whatever like fast food every day and so like he has completely transformed i've been making some good progress too Here we are at the end of the 75 heart. We are here. We actually finished it on Monday. Today's Saturday, so we've been done for almost a week now and we've been eating everything possible. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding, it hasn't really. Tuesday we ate whatever, Wednesday, today's my birthday. Tuesday, so. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday didn't go as planned. We have a pizza sitting in there right now. So. <laughs> We're enjoying this time off. Yeah, yeah. we have um, one more week off until the next little phase, but yeah. we'll talk about that another time. So. I guess we could just give our summary on the 75 hard, our thoughts, what we found hard about 75 hard, um, what was maybe easy. I mean, I'm pretty proud that we did it. I'm glad we did it and I'm recommending it to everyone, anybody and everybody that can. Cause I mean, literally yeah, you're following anybody. a diet that you get to choose the diet. So really it's just, you're standardizing your routine in a way. So, I mean, you're creating a routine. <laughs> So, um, I mean, that's what we did. We jumped right into it. I f like, I failed once, and then she decided to fail with me because she wanted to end with me. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I came back from Vegas, um, a failure and sick. So, and then I <laughs> but came we back got over and it, and then we started again, and now we finished it. And so, it feels good. It yeah. feels like physically and mentally, I feel completely different. I mean, hey, it's... I lost 20 pounds. The thing is, like, I didn't realize how how bad it was, I guess, how bad I got. Like, as far as, like, so feeling. so bad. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know. <laughs> that was bad. For, for, like, my frame, like, I just, you know, an extra no, 20 pounds I, I know what you mean, because it's, you don't realize that, you know, how low your energy is, it's like, sneaky. overall, just kind of how out of shape you are until you start working out, until you start feeling better. And then you look back and you think to yourself, man, I did not feel good because now I feel so good. And I'm excited to keep going. So I think that the hardest part about the challenge, I mean, really a lot of the aspects of the challenge we were already trying to do in general, like following our diet, like sticking to our calories, our proteins, carbs, and fats, drinking water, working out. Progress picture is pretty easy. It's, it's, easy. it's easy to forget, but Just if you've got it written down somewhere, yeah. it's easy to remember. remember. Um, One of those words. But then, the, well, the hardest thing that I found about the challenge are those random days that you get when you don't want to do anything. And so most of the days it was easy, but there's like every now and then there's a day like a Sunday, usually some kind of weekend, whenever you're tired, you just want to sit and do nothing and you don't want to think about anything. You don't want to have to work out. You don't want to have to get outside for 45 minutes. And so those are the days that I think can be the most challenging. But once, I found that once we really got into the rhythm of it, after like 
I say about 25, 30 days or so, it wasn't even, there was no question that we were gonna get things done. It was just like, okay, what do we have left for today? Let's get it done. We're holding each other accountable. Like we made it work. And it definitely helped to have each other on board because if not, I could totally see you getting Taco Bell or something and I'm sitting there eating my like healthy dinner and how frustrated I would be. As long as it fits. <laughs> so having somebody do it with you, having, you know, somebody on your team, like cheering you on, you're cheering each other on and holding each other accountable made all of the difference. There's no real hard part, to be honest. I mean, the hard part is the consistency. So mm -hmm. like she was saying, basically you have that little oh voice gosh. in your head that's, that's kind of like saying, you know what, today it's okay to, to not do this mm -hmm. or to mm -hmm. you know, change up your workout. Like you have a routine that's like set workouts and that's part of it. It's like you have to follow a workout mm -hmm. uh, schedule too um, in a way because say if you have a rest day and you're like, well, you know, I'm going to move the, these rest days all together so I only have like, you know, three workouts this week rather than four. Um, you can't do something like that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I'll, I will switch a day every once in a while. Um, but that's mainly but just even on based around rest. how I'm feeling. So a lot of times, like I felt sore, and so I was like, I need a, I need a rest day. Um, and then, but that's actually part of your workout schedule. Like mm -hmm. it's, it, you have to listen to your body too. Yeah, but um, you, the rest is still like walking or some like cardio or foam rolling and mobility, which is something that I was not doing before. So you still have your dedicated time to your fitness, but mm -hmm. it's a rest day because you're not you know, doing crazy hard workouts or anything. Sure. I mean, you still have to do something. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, it's, uh, I was very sore for a leg day. So I would just shift it to like some kind of mobility. Um, so I can actually recover. Uh, so things like that, same thing with the food side of things. So, uh, it's really, you're just following a diet. Say if you're like, it's 75 days, maybe your diet shifts in calories. That's still, you're still following it. You don't have to follow the original calorie count. And so there, there's kind of thoughts like that, that I was going through. Um, so really everything else, as long as you follow the schedule and as long as you have that drive, it's easy. But the thing is, it's hard to keep that drive. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes it hard. It's, mm -hmm. This is a mental challenge. Yes. Yeah, so. it is 100% mental. And, you know, we're talking about those days like where you just want to rest and not do anything. Like those are the days that will get you because it's not like you can't, if you're on day 50 and you want one of those days or you miss something, you start over. And that sucks. And so I think starting over is part of the challenge too, because mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like most people that try the challenge have to start over at least once. And I was looking around online and I saw somebody, uh, cause I follow the hashtag 75 hard now on Instagram. And I saw somebody was on day 60 and had to start over. Well, one of the, the guys that you listen to for first form, the guys that actually started the challenge mm -hmm. or that's the CEO of first form. Well, one of his sales guys or somebody said that he started on 60, started over on 60 or 65. God. He had 10 days left, I think 65. Yeah. See that. He did it. And that he alone would make me, I would be so frustrated. I, part of me would be like, I don't even want to try again, you know? Yeah. And I feel like that probably will get some people. So just know, like, I mean, those days are going to pass whether you're doing it or not. So you might as well just be productive and, yeah. and work towards some kind of goals. And so, yeah, it, it was, it was cool. Like, I think it was just really cool to, to do together. Sure. And I feel like it kind of took, like, we're both at a, at a higher level now, you know, like mentally, um, physically, we're getting so much more done. It started, it's kind of like catapulted us into this new, productivity mode and just trying to get more done and be more productive with every single day rather than staying stagnant. So and hopefully you'll see more from us real it's soon. It's been really, really positive overall. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah. She's gone now. <laughs> she's playing with the chair. But I did get this weird swelling. I don't know if you'll see that right there. I'm not leaving that in. Come on. Look at that. I'm not leaving that. It also, you can't see it on the camera. Man, I just got this weird swelling right here. Like what the, I don't know what that is. <laughs> there you go. Grumpy Eva. So we, our time is up here. <laughs> We're gonna go eat pizza and feed her, but highly recommend it, highly. If you guys don't know anything about it, feel free to comment below. We can send you more information and yeah, get it done you guys. We would love to cheer you on. So if you are doing the challenge, let us know and we'll follow you on social media and we'll cheer you on because it is amazing. Okay. Anything to add real quick? No, I mean, well, more information coming soon, hopefully on a website that's coming soon. So we'll yes, see. Yes, yes. We've got some, some website changes coming. 
really big ones. So it's gonna be, uh, awesome. it's gonna be so cool! Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay. Well, y'all have fun out there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>